an August evening, which feels much more like late October. Good evening, Kyle McEwen on WRMJ and WRMJ.com for week number one of the Orient Chargers 2018 season on the road tonight in Spring Valley, Illinois, as they meet the Hall Red Devils, a team that got into the playoffs a year ago, continuing to build. Should be a fun game tonight to kick off the season. What are your expectations tonight and what you look to do on the offensive side of the football against a much improved Hall team? Well, we're just we're going to try to be as balanced as we possibly can. Um, you know, we look for some big things out of Southwest tonight. You know, we're going to try to, you know, obviously get the ball a little bit to Logan, try to try to get some mis- mismatches here. Kind of interesting to see how they're going to defend him. Uh, we'll kind of feel our way out the first, first few possessions just to see how things go. But, um, again, really, you know, just excited for the fact that we can finally get on the field and get after it and start playing again. You can hit people in a different uniform this time. Hall looking to continue their rebuild. Of course, got back to the playoffs last year. And last week when we talked, you thought this would be a good game, a big game to set the tone and as an opportunity for the Chargers to make an early statement, especially on the road. Yeah, I mean, you, you know, not very many people get to face a, a quality opponent right out of the gate, and we get to. It's going to be a great matchup here. Um you know, so yeah, you get both teams get to get to be tested. Uh, Randy, their coach, had a great quote in the paper. He said, "You know, one game does not define your season. So no matter what happens, it still is. Keep in mind, week one, and um, we're going to progress from there. But it's definitely, definitely a big test for both teams." Is there anything you can go back to on Hall from last year or, or tape from last year, anything that can help steer you toward keeping their ground game to a minimum? They're looking to really rebuild the ground attack that Hall was known for for so long. Yeah, I mean, that's they've got some quality backs from what I've been hearing. You know, some guys that, that maybe didn't quite have last year or weren't quite ready when the first week we played them. But, um, yeah, they're really high on their offensive line. They're really high on their running backs. So, um, you know, we're, we're kind of, we're not quite ready or really sure what we'll see. I think we think we might see some double wing and um, some, some split back, double tight end stuff. But, um, you know, we've, we've practiced for their spread thing. We know Buchanan's really, really good, and Montini's very good, and we've got to bottle them up and make sure that they don't they don't have a great day against us. And then, you know, if, if, if someone, one of their other players are able to beat us, then that's the way we're going to gear it towards. A week of practice under your belt since the last time we talked. Any developments there, positive or negative since? Uh, you know, we're a slow start, but, you know, a week... Tuesday was not real great, and uh, you know, but I think I think it's got, it, it kind of gets on the hey, that's practice number twelve or thirteen or whatever it is, and you know, you're you're getting ready to to get and go on ahead and hit somebody else. I think everybody kind of wears in the middle of that, and we've had a really hard camp, so um, but we'll see how it goes. But you know, we, we picked it up on Wednesday and Thursday was a little bit sharper, and today they look a little bit focused. But um, you know, long ride over here, and they're seventeen years old. You, you you hope that that mindset still stays the same as they get off the bus. That's where that leadership from the senior class comes back into play again. Speaking of the odd situation tonight, so because of the weather potentially coming back into the area, the varsity game will be played first. That's a total switch from the way a lot of these kids are used to their Friday night routine going. Is there anything you can really do to try to help mitigate that other than, okay, we're here, it's time to play, let's put the helmet on? Yeah, that's about all we can do. I mean, you know, uh, it is. You know, football football players by nature are creatures of habit, and right. we kind of get out of that out of that ha- habitual mode there. So um, we're going to make the best of the situation. I mean, you know, life is ever changing, so this is a great lesson for us. You know, we've got to we've got to be able to adapt and overcome. And you know, th- nobody's feeling sorry for us. There's a game to be played, and in about 40 minutes, we're going to kick it off. The Orion Charger offense looks like this. Dawson Schulenberg at quarterback, 17 scores, then three on the ground last year for a 20 total. Uh, 1,600 yards from the quarterback. Seth West at running back. Jeffrey Holbrook at receiver. Ryan Fowler at receiver. Kobe Schultz at receiver. Tight end Logan Lee, of course. Offensive line, Kay Jackson, Austin Mack, Michael Seabloom, Ben Dunlap, Gage Easton. We welcome to the booth the coach, Brent Hutton, for the broadcast again this season. And coach... You've been waiting for this moment since, really, November of last year at Newman. It's time to buckle up and show the world what we've got. And kicking off for Hall, it'll be Anthony Buchanan back to receive for Orion. Tough to read the gray numerals on the white road jerseys tonight. It looks like it'll be Seth West and Ryan Youngworth back there. Yeah, it is. And that 
is going to be caught by Williams. Christian Williams, a senior with speed around the outside. He gets across the 40. It'll be first down Orion at the Charger 41. A little bit of a different look here at the receiver spots for the Chargers in 2018. Yeah, yeah, it is. You know, they, they have to replace pretty much the whole receiver core, receiver core except for uh, Logan Lee being, being back. And, you know, Coach Filler didn't talk to us about his uniform choice because those numbers <laughs> are not very easy to see on that on that gray on, on the on the white. But this should be an exciting game. You know, the, the Chargers bring back a lot a lot of people with experience, and, they, and their offensive line is big, and they're going to be good. It should be a fun game to watch. So we plead with you folks. Give us a little slack tonight. It's tough to see, and it's not even raining yet. We'll see if the fog or the rain causes an issue. First down, Chargers. Three near side, one receiver to the far side. Looks like West in the backfield with Dawson Schulenberg. Snap, Dawson looking, looking left on his feet. Evades a tackler and then slips and is down after a one-yard gain on first down. Yeah, the, the Devils played a little man-to-man there. They were really trying to isolate Logan Lee on that on that left side. And, uh, the, the defense back there did a nice job of getting him covered. He had nowhere to go, and, and he scrambled for a good one-yard gain. On second down, it'll be just a dual receiver set, one each way, a more of an eye look. They snap the handoff. This is West around the outside. He gets not quite to the first down marker, but to the 20. Eight. So market a six-yard gain on second down. That'll bring up third and three. Just underway at Richard Nesty Stadium here at the relatively newly built Spring Valley Hall Township High School. A wishbone look here for the Chargers. Three backs, no receivers. The snap, handoff, and up the middle. That is Seth West for the game's first first down. He gets out to the 35-yard line. The senior 15 scores a year ago on the ground, two in the air, a total of 1,300 all-purpose yards. He'll be returning some kicks tonight, too. First down, Chargers, they move quickly. Two far side, one receiver near side. Snap, the handoff is Seth West. He dances across the middle to the 42-yard line. Seven-yard pickup, another good possession here for Orion. Yeah, Coach Filler has has a temple going right now for his side. I mean, they, they get them that play, and they get a line of scrimmage, get the play in, and they're running some pretty quick tempo offense, changing the formation up and see if we can get uh, the, the Devils off side or kind of out of their sets. Three different formations in, what, four plays offensively. Back to the wishbone here. Schulenberg under center, the snap. The handoff goes to Christian Williams. He's first near the first down marker, then thrown back. We'll see where they mark it on second down. It'll be a yard shy, third and one. For Orion, 10 12 to play in this opening quarter of the season on WRMJ and WRMJ.com. Thank you for joining us. A different time tonight with these games all locally being moved up to attempt to avoid most of the weather. Back to the wishbone look here. Three backs, Schulenberg under center. The snap, the handoff, and this time across the big H at the 50 yard line for the first down and then some. Uh, appears to be Williams, Christian Williams. Not only speed in the return game, but he's been a useful back so far in this possession too. Yeah, and the offensive line is getting off, off the snap very well. The right right side really pushed the Devils' line, line back, and the lean back came up and cut the line back for that first down. This is going to be first and ten from midfield. The snap, it's a fake handoff. Schulenberg rolls to his right, spins, gets out of a tackle, still on his feet. He'll take it himself and turn nothing into a three-yard gain along the far sideline. Yeah, that looked like it was going to be about a seven-yard loss there. Again, no, no receivers are open. And, and Dawson did a nice little turn to the outside to get outside that containment on the defensive end and got some positive yards out of the play. We've seen that a lot from Dawson at the end of last year, yes, rolling the other way and picking up some late yardage, saving some possessions. Three receivers near side for Orion. It's West with Schulenberg in the backfield. Snap, and it's going to be a quarterback keeper, and Dawson gets out to the 41, 42-yard line of Hall. That'll be a four-yard pickup. In these conditions, just little chunks of yardage at a time, each That's play being right. useful. And so far on all this on this whole series, what they've done is they've given a really good manageable third down. You know, it's been third down two, third down and ones, and that's what you want to look at as an offensive coordinator. The Chargers back to the wishbone with West and Williams alongside Holbrook. Here's a snap, and the pitch goes to Williams along the far side. He gets uh, across the 40 to the 38-yard line. Another Orion Charger first down. And we want to welcome you to... Casey's 
football game of the week on WRMJ at WRMJ.com. Brought to you by Casey's General Stores. Casey's, famous for pizza. We thank the folks at Casey's General Stores for jumping on board our coverage of high school football. Year number 40 for WRMJ, award-winning high school sports coverage. Two receivers near side. The snap, this time the handoff's going to go to Seth West. He gets out to the 35. About a three, four-yard pickup on first down with the clock running. We've played three and a half minutes, and the Chargers have gone from their own 21 now to the Hall 30. About 50 yards thus far on this drive. Holbrook, the lone receiver out to the left, and West in the backfield. Snap, Schulenberg hands to Seth. He'll dance around the tackler and then is taken down at the 30. About a three-yard pickup. And that will bring up third and what? Three. three, yeah, third and three. So they you know, they kind of did it again. That you know, the first down play, they've been kind of winning that first down and just really setting up some nice, manageable third down sets right here. And so far, they've gone with the, you know with that full house and a power set. Anytime they had these third and short situations, Holbrook, West, and Williams are three backs. Schulenberg under center barks out the play call, tries to get Hall offsides. No luck. He'll go back to under center. The snap and the handoff, but the play is stopped before any positive movement because an Orion Charger penalty. Yeah, yeah love the movement on the offensive line. Kobe Living in the ball game for the first time. Now takes a seat. Holbrook, West, and Skyler Stropes, near side receiver. So five total receivers. The snap, Schulenberg on his feet, fires over the middle. Pass is caught. Orion Charger first down across the 20. That'll put the Chargers in the case. IH red zone for the first time in 2018. See Rex McCorder at Berkey's Farm Store today about a new 250 series Case IH Axial Flow Combine for 2019 with some great enhancements or the 150 series with a retro IH paint scheme shown at the Farm Progress Show next week. Call Rex McCorder, 309-337-1680. Wishbone look here, Schulenberg under center on first down. Snap, fake handoff, Schulenberg firing toward the end zone. Incomplete. There he's going to try to... Make it look like that was a catch, but that was yeah, it, unfortunately it to the came. ground before the hand, and that right. was in the corner of the end zone, and Kobe Living couldn't quite. Or was that? That was Logan no, Lee. No, that was Lee. Excuse yeah. me. 42-45. Yeah, Logan Lee he did a nice little play action. He was able to get by the linebacker, and he had, had a couple steps on him, and the ball was really well, well thrown. He just couldn't bring it back, back in over his head. So maybe a half step too far, and yep. Lee unable to haul it in. So it's second and down, second and ten from the now 22-yard line. Snap, the handoff. This time, dancing up the middle. That's West. Some mud flying as he goes across the 16-yard line. Helmet does come off, and Seth will bring up a third and what about five situation uh, here? About third and three. The wishbone look here with Schulenberg under center. The snap. His handoff goes to Williams, who is taken down at the 15-yard uh, line, a one-yard pickup. That will bring up fourth down. And now do you bring out Ryan Fowler, or do you go ahead and try to punch it through I'm guessing, and get the first? Uh, well, I, was gonna, I was actually going to be guessing here that he'd go for it in this situation because they're moving the ball really well, but it looks like they're actually bringing in their uh, kick team. Or could it be a fake? Oh, that's going to be – nope, they're going to go for it. They're going to go for it. Yep, and it's four receivers. Check that, three receivers. Here's the snap. The handoff goes to Seth West. He gets to the outside, takes a hard hit, then dives hey, forward, and he got the first down just across the, what? Just across, across the, the 10 to the 8. Yard line. Yep. First and goal, Chargers. 5.45 to play, opening quarter of the season. WRMJ and WRMJ.com. Kobe Living in the game. The snap. And Schulenberg on his feet, rolling right, rolling, still under pressure, and is taken down. About a three-yard loss. Holbrook near side receiver, and a lone receiver to the far side. Snap, handoff goes to West up the middle. He's inside the five-yard line on second and 12. A big, a big pickup for the Chargers. That'll bring up third and goal. And where will they mark it? At the one. Third and goal for the Orion Chargers. Out of the wishbone. Living, Williams, and West, your three receivers. Schulenberg under center. He gets the snap, hands it off to Seth West. 
to the end zone. Touchdown, Orion Chargers. And for the first time this season, Seth West leads the Chargers to pay dirt on their very first possession. 6 nothing in a possession that literally took 7 minutes and 47 seconds. And the Chargers went 79 yards in that time. Eight up clock, eight up field on the way, and Seth West to the end zone for six. It's Ryan Fowler on now for the extra point. 51 and 56 in his career. Here's a snap, the hold, the kick is high, and it is through. 7 nothing, Orion. We've played nearly eight minutes on WRMJ and WRMJ.com. The Chargers 7, Red Devils 0. James Martino, number 23. First possession of the season yields Orion a touchdown by way of Seth West running in from a yard out, a 79-yard drive over eight minutes. Ryan Fowler makes the extra point. Now he kicks the football away from his 40 and back to receive. That is James Martino with lethal speed. He gets it from the 5 to the 10, the 15, 20, spins away from a pile. Gets room to the outside. Now he's under pursuit from three chargers and finally is taken down at the 29 of Hall. That was just a good effort by Kobe Stropes there on that, on that kickoff coverage because the great job on the, on the Spring Valley Hall's running back for, for returning that kick. He did a couple good moves. He slid off a couple blocks. He really kicked it outside. It was going to be a big play, but Kobe Stropes did a nice job of hustling down and making the play on the tackle. So the... Quarterback duties will fall to Grant Resetic. They're in a wishbone look with one offset back. Here's a snap. The handoff goes to the right side, and that's going to be no gain on first down. And Cole Wozniak, the ball carrier, he plays some tight end, plays some fullback. He's 5'10", 180. The Charger defense, Ryan Youngworth, Seth West, Jeffrey Holbrook, Ryan Fowler, Chad Banfield, Kobe Schultz, Logan Lee, Kay Jackson, Austin Mack, Michael Seabloom, and Gage Easton, your, what do they call those, war pigs? Yeah. Your Orion war pigs on the defensive side. 